Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, uh, I'm gonna show you the setup of the Node.js development environment and also like uh, what's the thing? And also we write a program, hello world and run, okay? To make sure our node actually, uh, environment actually works. So in order to set up first, you have to download the node. You go, uh, you, you can just go to the Node.js download. It has two versions. One is uh, LTS, the other one is current. LTS stands for the long-term support. And uh, normally, like, uh, <clears throat> because Node.js also target for the enterprise applications, right? And uh, Every like six months, Node.js will release a new version, which is uh, under the current every six months. And in the current, uh, sometimes it might have the breaking changes. It's not suitable for the production environment or for the enterprise use. It's too fast. And uh, so it has a, a long term um, support version, which is targeted for provide. Uh, production environment for enterprise use so you can it will have the 18 months for active long-term support and continue with another 12 months maintenance so there's no breaking changes or features so it's safe if you update and uh, but it probably in some circumstance it will also have okay so long-term uh, support version is even number and the current always is the old number um, uh, but we are practicing so we can use in current okay because we are not using for production we can use in current for learning purpose but uh, for this uh, playlist or the video i show if you're using long term it doesn't matter okay and just choose uh, uh, which uh, any one of them you want um, what i download is this one window installer i just download here you will have installer then you just double click and click next 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 until the end i don't want to show you anymore okay just as regularly you uh uh what's the thing uh install a software okay so after you download and click next next till the end till the finish and you can open a command and after open command you can using node hyphen v to check if you see it shows uh, this version here. It means your Node.js uh, node developer node is installed correctly. Okay. If you see something node is not internal external command, it means you are not uh, is um, installed correctly by default. But if you install a software directly, but uh, uh, if you install uh, direct uh, installed successfully, but you still didn't see this one properly, you are not added the in you are not add node that have been folder in under the environment variable, uh, which is uh, let me show you here. Uh, it should have a path. Let me see my path. Uh, what did you see my note if not here there's another place okay yeah sorry okay oh uh, here so you might if you if you think you install correctly then check here in the environment variable do you have uh, it add under the path if it add then you uh, reopen this uh, command then run, run again okay so after install let's uh, first uh, write our first program uh, a lot of people like uh, the VS code uh, it's a great tool so you can use in any tool you can using the notepad any tool you like you want okay we just using the uh, what's the thing the view studio code which is a very great tool okay and here we will write our first program called hello world okay 
in the hello world write anything like uh, let's using the demo we used uh, in previous video okay like a set a timeout and we give a function okay and uh, uh, what's the console.log hello from Tina and we give zero and the console dot log two okay oh 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 uh thank you okay thank you for watching my videos okay good perfect okay very simple previously this you can see this is a javascript code you can actually also run in the Chrome, which is the client side, but Node.js can run, can write server side code, which means it can access the file system to create a new file on your local computer. But with the client side JavaScript, you cannot do that. But with Node, you can do those. You can use Node to connect to a database. Okay, and how to run that? You go to here. You can open a terminal. Uh, it also have a PowerShell, uh, PowerShell, okay? I just using the basic command, which is the same as you do this one, okay? And it's convenient. And uh, here I will go to CD, uh, day one, right? Okay, and you can add a node, and how to run? Type the file, okay? Node, hello, yeah? Then they have hello world. What is this file? Oh, oh, sorry, it's not under the it's not under the day one. I have to create it here. Okay, hello world. That is yes. I have to create it here. I didn't create it under the hello world under the day one. Okay, I'll delete this one. Delete this one. Okay. Now it's under the day one. Yes, now it's under day one, right? Okay, now we're using node hello world.js. Now you can see this is output because later on we will talk about what's inside a node. Okay, inside node it has a V8 used to run the JavaScript code. Okay? This is a JavaScript code, so it will run using node hello world.js. You will see the thing. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you set up your environment successfully. And uh, if you have, if you do have questions, you can le please leave a comment. I'm happy to help you. Okay. Um, bye bye.